My name is William Troyer, sitting down here with Katie Sowers, Offensive Assistant Coach for the San Francisco 49ers. Katie, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, and thank you for coming all the way from Goshen. She's the second full-time women's coach in the NFL, actually now the only full-time women's coach in the NFL. Um, born and raised in Heston, Kansas, Goshen College alumna and a three-sport athlete while attending Goshen College. After graduating from Goshen College in 2010 uh, with a physical education major, um, she went on to play five years in the Women's Football Alliance with the Kansas City Titans, uh, where in fact she won a 2013 women's title with the Titans. Um, after her playing career was over, she took over as general manager for the Kansas City Titans for one season. One year later, she found herself accepting an internship with Atlanta Falcons under the offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan. After the 2016 season, Shanahan took over the head coaching position with the San Francisco 49ers. She followed him to the Bay Area, and now you find yourself with a full-time position on the team. Katie, thank you for joining us once again. What was it like playing for the Kansas City Titans uh, that got you interested, or was it something earlier in your life? So growing up, football was always one of my favorite sports. I actually grew up uh, playing in the backyard with all the neighborhood boys. My twin sister and I, we would um, put on, actually would get old pads that my, my dad gave us for Christmas because he was a basketball coach at Bethel College. And so he got some, some old pads one Christmas and gave it, it was the best Christmas ever. So we'd always play in the backyard. Um, and, and that was always my first love of, of sports. You know, people always kind of see me as a basketball player back, you know, in my college, high school. But it was really football that was my passion. And so when I, when I, after I graduated Goshen College, uh, I found, actually through my victory lap at Goshen College, um, finishing up there, I found football. And so I actually started playing in a, in a team in northern, um, kind of northern, uh, Indiana, but it was right off the border in Michigan. It's called the West Michigan Mayhem. So we'd always drive north, uh, my twin sister and I, and started playing um, football there. And that's where, you know, I, I realized that I, I didn't have to just believe that, you know, it was only a, men, a men's sport. You know, I, I didn't have to settle with coaching basketball. I could, I could actually coach football, which was my true passion. How did you find out about the Women's Football Alliance, and what was your experience with the Kansas City Titans? So I found out about the Women's uh, Football Alliance. I was just one day, I was sitting in my room, and I, you know, sports was, it was coming to an end for me, and, and I always had identified as an athlete, and so I knew I had to keep continuing doing something. And I remembered seeing some clip of some female playing football somewhere. I think it was maybe, it happened to be like on an ESPN top 10. It was some random catch in, in some random, you know, women's football league. And so I Googled women's tackle football in the area, and I, and I found the Women's Football Alliance, and I found a team fairly close to Goshen. Uh, so I, I decided that I would check it out. So drove, it was almost about an hour and 20 minutes every day, just one way. Um, three days a week, we would travel that, I mean, after, after track practice, after school, I would travel an hour and 15 minutes, go play football, travel an hour and 15 minutes back, um, just to do it all over again. Being an NFL coach is a full-time job, so what does your typical work week look like? So um, I don't have a typical work week uh, because it's more of a lifestyle than it is uh, clock in and clock out. Uh, when you when you, you take it upon yourself to to do a job like coaching in the NFL, um, you really you have to give up a lot, uh, but it, it's worth it um, if you're passionate about it, if you love the game. So a typical day would look like uh, coming in early, 5 a.m., 5.30, um, starting to get ready, breaking down film, doing formations of, of opponents that we might be playing coming up in, um, within the next week, two weeks, trying to, to plan in advance, uh, meetings, practices, uh, you know, anything that involves football, that, that's, you know, any of our uh, job responsibilities. When you were hired with the 49ers, you publicly thanked Falcons general manager Scott Pioli. Um, how has he helped you settle in the league? So Scott Pioli has been amazing, and he's, I would say, one of the trail, trailblazers within um, the NFL and really pushing to get a more diverse atmosphere in the NFL. So I, I, you know, I, I don't feel like there's such thing as luck, uh, but I do say that I feel I was lucky when it came to meeting him. But I, I do, do think there was an aspect of you work your way to put yourself in opportunities to get lucky. And, that, and that's what happened. I, um, I knew I wanted to coach. I knew I loved football. 
I knew that there were opportunities to coach basketball. At that point, I didn't know there were opportunities to coach football. So I needed some extra money, started to coach. Um, it was actually, I was supposed to coach sixth grade girls basketball and they messed up the schedule. I'm so sorry we messed up the schedule. Can you coach fifth grade girls basketball? I'm like, fifth grade, sixth grade, same thing. Just so happened that the fifth grade girls basketball team, Scott Peely's daughter played on that team. So that's where I really got to know Scott and, and he got to know my background playing in the, uh, playing for the USA women's national team, coaching football, loving football. Uh, and, and he has been a huge advocate for me and not just getting me to where I am because I'm a female, but getting me to where I am because of who, what I, what I can bring to any organization. 49ers receiver Marquise Goodwin was quoted saying, Katie is a baller at 100%. Um, would you say this is your relationship with all or most players? Yes, absolutely. I, and I, w I would love to think that all of the NFL has players of the quality that I have I've interacted with throughout the Atlanta Falcons, throughout the 49ers. I, w I would hope that that's the case, but every single player that I've come in contact with has been a professional, and that's what they are. They're true professionals. Overall, since you've started your NFL coaching career, um, it is known that you are openly gay. Um, has that brought any challenges along the way, or has that not been a factor whatsoever? You know, when I when that um, whole article came out about me being openly gay, I didn't know that it would would blow up like it did, um, because to me that I was just being who I am. Um, I don't think that it, it brought any obstacles more so than what I've lived throughout my whole life and that any gay or lesbian person might encounter on a daily basis. Um, there's always going to be stereotypes, whether I'm a female coaching football, whether I'm a lesbian, whether I'm, you know, whatever it is, whether I'm black, whether I'm white, there's stereotypes no matter what. And I think that's more of a societal thing than it is um, in, within your job responsibilities that you're a full-time coach of the 49ers, do you find it difficult to stay in people, stay in touch with people back in Heston or uh, with friends or teammates from Goshen College? It's hard to stay in touch with anybody. Um, it's hard to stay in touch with my family. It's hard to, but you really start to realize what's important in life. And that's really the relationships that you build with people. And that seems like a cliche thing to say, but when you, when you, when you follow your passion and you're doing something that you love so much, um, it's the little things. It's my nephew who's now running, who last I saw him, he was just like a little blob on the floor and, and now he's running. But it's you, the moments that you do get with them, you start to really appreciate more. And so even though it's hard to keep in contact with my friends from Heston, my friends from Goshen, when I do see them, and, and I actually I'm going to see some friends from Goshen after this today, and some of them are coming to the game. Um, it's those moments you really like you appreciate, even if it's just an hour. Um, you appreciate them more. What were some things about Goshen College that stood out from other colleges that you were looking at? Goshen, uh, as well as Heston College, so starting at Heston, moving to Goshen, the people, I would say the people at Goshen, um, they're, it's, just, it's a different atmosphere than, than other places that you'll find. The people are so open-minded, so loving. So I mean, everything that's opposite of what you would think of when you try to categorize a religion, a religious school, um, a lot of times people try to think, oh, they're going to, you know, they're, they're not gonna accept me for this. They're, not, they're gonna think this way. Goshen and, and Heston College and, and places like that, they're so welcoming to all types of people no matter what your religion, no matter what your race, gender, sexual orientation. Um, so they're just, their places are just really full of just embracing and loving. I think that's all the time we have today, Katie. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your business schedule to answer a few questions for us. Again, Katie Sowers, Offensive Assistant Coach of the San Francisco 49ers. My name is William Troyer, and this is 91.1 The Globe.